Hey sports fans, Coach's Desk is a channel for your riveting sports interviews, reviews and news about football both locally and internationally. Hit that like button and please remember to subscribe to Coach's Desk with Coach Minzy for your sporting experience. Welcome back to the Coach's Desk with host Coach Minzy and we have a bit of information that we would like to share with you about Darren Mattox. Yes. The same Darren Mattox that has been uh, without a club for quite some time. Yes, he has been out there in the wilderness. But something has happened for the youngster. Uh, before we get into that, we'd like to talk about reggae boy Omar Olness. He will be remaining at uh, Darlington FC until the end of the season. And... Uh, it's a good look for the reggae boy there. At least you'll be uh, having some playing time with that club. Also, FC Charles uh, Fabio Dixon. Yes, he plays in the Swiss League. And he's actually a former Swiss under-18 player. Uh, was born to a Jamaican father. And he has shown interest or he has declared his interest in playing for the reggae boys so fabio dixon you can uh research that player look him up and um we will keep you informed and up to date on this particular player so from the the, the, the look of things many persons many players who have uh, parental heritage in Jamaica are very interested in representing the country and that is a good look because some added experience will be the team uh, and that's a good look now moving on to Darren Mattox yes the former FC Cincinnati man he will now be plying his trade in Sudan yes I tell you the reggae boys are taking over there in Africa. So he will join Damian Lowe, Romario Williams and Alvas Powell down there in Africa. Now, the club that Darren has signed to is Almeric SC in Sudan. And you know the incidents that um, would have been following Darren Mattox, uh, the, the, the case involving some some fraud incident um that 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 probably would have overshadowed him for quite some time now he, he he was without a club but it's good to know that darren is moving on to almeric in the sudanese league and the striker will be playing his trade there we hope that he will do his best. He's moving to another continent. Um, he, 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 this is a move in order to get his career back on track. It, it, it's just, it's just a, a, a big move for him. Um, uh, it was, a, it was a, a tough time for him in the latter part of his MLS career uh, with what was transpiring. And uh, to see him overcome this, getting a deal at the age of 30, to move to the Sudan Sudanese league, it's a good look for him. And I do believe that uh, he will go there and do his best. Darren Mattox is a good striker. He's a clinical striker. He has eyes for goal. So definitely, I, I, I trust that he will just uh, expand in this league. Um, you will have company down there, like I said earlier, in a Damian Lowe, in a Romario Williams, and a Alva Spowell. So the, this is now um, the second Jamaican to be in the Sudanese league. Um, Alva Spowell was the first to do so. And definitely, you see, when one player goes into a league, signed to a league, signed to a club, it oftentimes open doors of opportunity for other players because i'm certain that um his move down there to to, to the Sudan, sudanese league would have been a a, a a bold move but even much more 
because he knows that another Jamaican is down there in Alvas Paul. So it's a big move. Big up to, 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 to Darren Mattox. Yes, we, we, we trust that things will refresh in his life. We, we, we trust that it, it will be a new start for him. His career would, would, would be uh, lifted in a particular way. He's going to be learning a new culture, uh, all of that. But with his experience playing professionally for many years, I think the transition would be a good one. He can also talk to Alvas, you know what I mean? So, like I said, these things normally open opportunities for other players. And if two reggae boys are down in Sudan, definitely we're looking for more. And, and, and also, I do believe that the reggae boys will be taking over Africa as well. Because if this is a, an avenue for them to go and play their trade, definitely, why not take up the opportunity? So we want to say kudos again to, 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 to his agent in, in ensuring that he gets a club. He will start playing football pretty soon. Um, we noticed that he was, he was in training. He, he, he was ensuring that his fitness level was up and all of that. So congrats to, to Darren Mattox. Good move, youngster. And, and we trust that you will um, take it and excel at it and shine at it. Because we know that you can do it. Because you have done it already in the past in the MLS. Big up yourself, Darren Mattox. Thanks again for the persons who continue uh, to support the coach's desk. Big up yourself. Yes. So, we'd want to call some names. But because of the, the growing list, it would be very, very difficult for, 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 for Coach Minzi to call all the names of the persons who have been supporting the coach's desk you know what i mean just 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 want to say big up to all subscribers big up to all viewers you know what i mean continue to support the movement as we grow from strength to strength uh we just want to highlight the stuff in track and field we just want to highlight the stuff in football and any other sports of interest to you um definitely that's what we want to do we want to provide the best for you viewers and subscribers big up yourself i'm out